I want to thank you all for coming out. First of all, I know this is a big concern for everybody. I'm very glad you've all showed up. I'd like to thank our friends, the RCMP, for attending. Uh, they will be a strong presence uh, walking with us. But, but um, the strongest presence here is all the Guam and people uh, joined together doing this walk. I'm, I'm very glad and proud to see all the people here. We. Uh, we have about a dozen. We have about a dozen letters that we're going to be dropping off on uh, front porches, and I believe reading the the letters out aloud. Uh, maybe I'll ask that if Ruth could read one of the letters out. Okay. The Slyaman community knows that you are engaged in illegal drug activity. You are no longer welcome in the community when engaged in drug activity. I'm giving you two options: seek treatment or leave Slyamon immediately. When we give you the option to seek treatment, this means you will cease all drug activity right now. You will attend at the Health Society within the next 24 hours, and you will follow their plan for becoming healthy and drug free. The Health Society will verify to the community through the task force that you are complying with their requirements. If you don't take the treatment option or leave of your own accord, you can expect the following. Commencement of a legal eviction process for nuisance, not exceeding 30 days. Denial of access to social services and the assistance that is normally available to band members through the band. Banishment for a specific term of years from Slammon. When you deal drugs, you poison this community. You cause inestimable damage to your family, your friends, children, and elders. You use your connection to the pe people of this community as a means to destroy them. This activity will no longer be tolerated at all within the boundaries of the reserve. We have every intention of following through with every legal means to rid our community of drugs. It's a terribly serious set of circumstances, but are you pleased on the other side that there's this community support? I am very pleased. I am, um, I, I, I'm in shock actually because, you know, we didn't expect so many people to support this. Mm -hmm. um, we have been um, trying to structure, we have an anti-drug committee that we've been working on mm -hmm. and we've been trying to structure uh, and formalize our committee. But because this incident happened just this past weekend where a life has been taken as a result of the drugs and, you know, the drug activities in our community. So we decided to step into the action phase. And this is why we're doing what we're doing today. Um, you know, we're trying to save uh, our children especially and trying to address, address this issue with the community that we are taking back our community. We will no longer tolerate the drugs activities in our community. And this is a strong statement and a powerful one coming from our committee and our community members. You know, we, you know, people keep um, expecting leadership to take control and to deal with things. Our people are so dependent on leadership to deal with things, but the community members have to step up the plate and, and be accountable as well and responsible for dealing with this, you know, this issue, that the drug today? issue. Yes, that happened today and I am so happy, I'm so proud of our people that they have come forward and, you know, and, and stood strong.